Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Wade's RV, and it's me, Little Wade, and Willie D. And that's our fan club right there, guys. We're excited to bring the podcast back now on YouTube. YouTube and here at Wade's RV, so we're not having to roll all around the country, do all this crazy stuff, not get locked out of studios like we were during COVID. So we are free and unleashed to do whatever we please now. And we are standing here in the lobby of the brand new facility here at Wade's RV in Glenpool. Really excited for it to get to open. So we're really just waiting on that new gas line to get connected. They have it, I think, ran all the way pretty close up to the building itself. Yep. They ran it down the highway the other day, and then all the sales team is going to come over here. So this is where they're going to do all the PDIs, the pre-delivery inspections for all those new and pre-owned units going out to make sure everything's working <laughs> for your first camp trip. Um, flooding all those tanks, you know, just making sure um, your ACs are working, your fridges, everything like that. And this is just going to be a top notch facility, another facility for Wade's RV, and we're so, just ready to open the doors. Let me slow that down a little bit. PDI, and you said that's the pre-delivery inspection. Mm -hmm. So if you buy a brand new RV, gets a PDI. Yes. If you buy a used RV, gets a, a PDI. PDI. And it's going to happen in this, uh, over here at this new facility, right there in the shop. Right there in the shop. Okay. And when you go to the shop, you're I guess see... out back in the shop, you could see it's kind of like radio. It was kind of hard. You had to paint the picture with, with your words and stuff. But we also have camera now, so we can kind of point. And I can show them right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the new shop is really cool. So your dad put in that new epoxy flooring that looks incredible. And so they'll be able to go out there. You get to have the uh, red carpet walk right out to your new RV. And then you'll get a lesson on how to use your RV. So we've been camping since we were kids. And RVs do change from year to year. I miss that sound camping, right? I think we're going this weekend, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah, we are. So we're going to hear it here shortly. But um, you're going to get a full lesson on that RV so you can learn how to use it and get touched up on where those new buttons are. And so you're yeah. going to be able to go out there and camp with ease and just be comfortable and ready to go. So before we get into some of the topics today, and the first topic is going to be RV sewer hose. We have like I'm very three. passionate about this. Topic. I know, I, I know <laughs> you are passionate. Um, let's talk about spring break. It's happening right now. Mm -hmm. This is the last weekend to take advantage of Wade's RV's spring break sale event. You can save thousands of dollars. How? Well, you're going to pay less for a brand new RV, and we're giving you more for your trade. This is the last weekend, guys. So if you want to take advantage of that, visit us at one of our three locations. We have Glenpool, Goldsby, and now Joplin, Missouri. And Joplin, Missouri, it's just south of I-44 on Rangeline Road. It's really, it's if you haven't been up there, just take yourself a little trip. I thought it was going to be further than what it is. It's only yeah. about two hours from Tulsa. So if you haven't seen the new Wade's RV building, go check it out. We yeah. just got some new cubicles. The parts store just got finished this last weekend. Oh, yeah. So it's fully set up and going. I was amazed by the units and the inventory. They have a lot of RVs up there. And I think this is where you should put up that beautiful picture that our brand new general manager, Joe Kellogg. Um, he captured one evening when he was closing down the store. Very beautiful picture. Enjoy this right now. Oh, all right. Let's talk about it. So, RV sewer, sewer hose. hose. Yeah. A lot of people shy away from this job. Some people think it's going to be a smelly job. It's really a simple job if you have the right tools. And today, okay. We're going to talk about the three different, well, the three main sewer hoses we sell at Wade's RV, mm -hmm. the different price ranges on them, and really what they're going to do for you. So this first one right here is the 20-foot, super heavy-duty, easy flush, premium RV drain hose. Right here for you. And this one's going to retail at Wade's RV for $50.49. And this is where we're going to start out. So this is going to be a very basic setup for your sewer hose. Really, you're just looking to transport your fluids mm -hmm. into the other tank. So you take it from your black tank, your gray tank, and move it into the ground or into the sewer system. And so with this, it's a really great setup. A lot of different dealerships, if you go get a basic starter kit, this is what you're going to find in there. I've used them multiple times. One thing you will notice is, um, we'll actually show them right here. You do, if you're trying to connect it, you are going to have to have a coupler and you yep. are going to have to have some fittings. So that is one thing that you'll have to realize is if you are getting this hose, it quite literally is just the hose. So you don't want to just get that and then go out to camp and 
Just be stuck out there in the wilderness. And don't yeah. forget, when you're shopping for your accessories at Wade's RV, just ask one of our guys in the parts department, and they will help you out with this. Yes, and we do have those fittings, which we're going to show you here in just a little bit as well. So yeah. um, this is a really good sewer hose. I actually, I may have spoke. It does actually, no, it says fitting sold separately, so yeah. I was right. It is just the hose. So this will get you started, but make sure you don't forget those fittings. Another thing to look at when you're looking at these sewer hoses is going to be your smash test. So mm -hmm. if you're walking around a campsite you might step on that hose and what's going to oh. happen is if you don't have a very good hose it might break it's gonna crinkle on you you might have a little doo-doo on your shoe shoe should we show the next one we should okay. so um the next one is going to be our duraflex this one's going to be a little bit shorter but it is going to make up for that with the durability so mm -hmm. this is a this is one of my favorites and i really like it because you're not necessarily having to spend the most and get um stuff that you don't necessarily need one that we're going to talk about later has yeah. um reinforced ridges and you're supposed to be able to drive over it with a car yeah well i'm typically not trying to drive a car through yeah. my campsite so that's not really an application i'm looking not to very responsible Responsible right. Not very behaviors responsible. at the campsite. Camping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Camping, 10 habits. When you talk about that. No, I like this hose. I like the uh, clear cap that you could visually see what's going on if it's still, you know, if you have some um, water or sewage still flowing in. Yeah, you know, and this one actually does include that. So whenever yeah. you get this box, you're not going to have to get your sewer hose and then get extra accessories. And this one's going to retail. Let's see, $40.99. Man, can't beat that. Can't beat it. It's a great deal, and we get such a good deal on this because we buy so many of them. So um, really not a super big price difference in between this one and our first, our price leader. Yeah. But um, since we buy so many, it's kind of like Walmart. You can get a great deal on it. So this one's really great. This is the yeah. one I actually use whenever I go out camping because, you know, I'm not the fanciest guy. <laughs> I like to get something that's going to get me by and really just take care of me. Hey, it does the job, and it does it very well. And really nice feature right there. Yes, all accessories included. And now we're going to go with the big boy. We're going to go with the Rhino Flex. This is going to be the top of the line sewer hose that you're going to get at Wade's RV whenever you're getting your camper. If you're getting that um, professional starter kit that we talk about, <laughs> yeah. um, you're going to have this Rhino hose. And I was watching some crazy videos. It was kind of like Billy Mays with the old OxyClean. Yeah. These guys that make Rhino, they were driving over it with cars. They were jumping up and down, <laughs> using it as a jump rope. I mean, these guys are crazy. But Now, I could see where... That would be like a major factor. Hey, this hose is really durable because you're going to pack it away, right? Yes. And and one of my pro tips that I always say to customers, fr uh, friends and family that are going to go out RV camping, I say, hey, get you a separate like Tupperware box mm -hmm. that you store, um, you know, just your like sewer hoses and stuff like that and, and keep that separate from your other tools like a drill or if you have... Um, um, jacks that you need to mess with or stuff like that and chalks you know keeping this in a in a separate tote and this one's going to run you 6144 so it's going to be about 10 more dollars than that last one we looked at but um, this thing is really durable like you said with having to pack it and stow it away um, you're going to be moving it around a lot so you yeah. do want something that's not going to break just like we said with the crush test <laughs> you throw it in the underbelly of your rv and then yeah. it's just done you want something that's going to last and then also a lot of times when you're going camping, you might be going out somewhere where it's really hot or really cold, and you don't want those temperatures in the sun to break it down and just really fade it out. So this is one that, once again, I would highly recommend if you want to spend the extra couple bucks. It does come with the accessories that you're needing. And why else do you need the, t you know, the tub? You can't put that in your bumper. No, mm -mm. it's not going to fit. So you can keep it all in one thing because I'm pretty sure you're not going to throw that in your luggage whenever no. you're done. So um, and, use that pro tip, and it'll really save you a lot of heartache and hardship. So you said road. you're not going to put this in your bumper. Now, a lot of people are like, what is he talking about? You just skipped over that. So I did explain how that. the bumpers are, have that little secret cubby hole in the back. A lot of people don't even know it. So if you didn't know, most of the time with travel trailers and most fifth wheels out there, there, they actually have a secret compartment. Whoa. And so the secret compartment originally, when we're talking about sewer hoses like that yeah. beginner one, they were just the hose and it's really just straight and uh, really simple. And they used to be able to just slide that hose right into the bumper. It did have the holes on it so it could drain out a little while you're going home from your yeah. vacation. But um, that is one way you can store that sewer hose. The pros don't do it that way. No, but, they do not. Yes, you I'll can tell you do why that. they don't mess with that anymore because. A lot of times they would either, when they would put the cap on the side, you know, after they stowed, they put the uh, hose in there, they put the cap on, 
Maybe they didn't put it on very well. Ooh. And they lost the cap, and they lost their hose. Well, how embarrassing. <laughs> when they were traveling home, yeah. and they're like, next time they go to empty their tanks, guess what? No hose. That would be a little, uh, little bit of a problem when you get back home if you got those tanks all the way full. Now, we talked about those accessories, and this is going to be the accessory pack that we have at Wade's RV. So this will have all the attachments that you need. So if you have the bare hose, it has these um, threaded ends, and you can just... Twist them right on in. Make sure you have a secure connection. Oh, that's crafty. And it's that simple. And if you need to, also, it has a coupling right there. If you want to hook multiple hoses up, I don't think anyone has like 40 foot of sewer hose. But if you wanted to have 30, you could <laughs> definitely make it happen with this right here. I could see something like that. Now, I've seen that with some of our customers out at Grand Lake that they... They park their fifth wheel there, and it's like a long-term type deal. I could see um, having some extra sturdy um, accessories that we've talked about, like the Rhino and, um, you know, the durability and stuff really matters. That matters, and also sometimes... And the length, sometimes. The length, it does, because you might actually need more than one hose. So we are talking about couplings right here. Um, we also brought our Y coupling, and that's really important with a lot of these larger RVs these days. They're having multiple different gray tanks or black tanks, and so you need everything to go to one drain, but you might have separate hoses, and so this is going to help you with that. You can connect both of your hoses on one end, and then have it all come out one central location. For one easy payment of $24.52, you could own this. And it is well worth every <laughs> penny. If not, then you got to empty your tanks at two separate times. So. Willie D, so uh, can, can people buy these accessories at all three dealerships? All three dealerships, you can find each of these products and each of these accessories. Now, after we post this, we might be running low. So give us a call and make sure that we have exactly that part in store, because if we don't, we can have it there within hours. It's incredible. Not just from another store, but yeah. actually from our suppliers. A great thing about Wade's RV when we're fixing those RVs is we can get the parts quick. Now, I could tell you that if you are in the Glimpool area, you can give us a call at 918-291-1011 and ask for uh, Tyson, my brother. He's uh, He runs the parts department here, and he's in charge of ordering accessories and parts and stuff like that. Or you can give us a call in Goldsby at 405 405- Two eight eight one two four seven. I have to remember. I have to memorize all these numbers. That's four zero five two eight eight one two four seven, and that is our Goldsby location. Now the Joplin store. I'm gonna have to look it up. I know it is area code four one seven, and I believe. Let's check. I think my it memory. starts with a one. It, is it six two three three one one zero? Let's see. I think I was off on both of them. I thought it was one two eight. Oh. Yeah, I was correct. It is four one seven six two three three one one zero. Look at that! Look at that! Round I think of that's applause. What I said. <laughs> Anyways, we got to get better at that. That's kind of like <laughs> right there. All the cheesiness going on. So let's talk about brands. We talked about the sewer, the the different brand, um, sewer hoses that you can get here at Wade's RV and our accessories. Let's talk about the brands. So the different brands, these are the main ones that we carry. They also make, I believe it's um, Lippert that makes this specialized one that goes on a river stone. It's all self-contained, but uh -huh. then you're going to have to you know, add a few extra parts to your RV for that. But um, we have all of those brands and much more if you're looking for something specific. Now, um, when we're talking about brands of RVs, we talked about all those R parts when it comes to the rvs themselves we have over three i checked this week we have okay. over 300 and i believe the exact number as of yesterday was 368 units on the lot whoa so we have a few different rvs there for you to choose from yeah and it's the top brands and we have a little um you know we might have tiffin up in joplin but then yeah. we have integra and newmar here in oklahoma we have access to all those different brands. So if you're yeah. looking for a specific floor plan, a specific color, we can get you hooked up with that. So I think we're a it's, it's safe to say that we officially service all of Oklahoma and now in Joplin, Missouri. And so we are officially, my dad has built a high volume RV dealership. Mm -hmm. Yes. That means that we have the ability to buy these RV um, all of our brands at a lower discount so we could pass that on to our customers. And one thing when, when uh, people are looking to buy an RV, I think the most important thing shouldn't be price. Okay? Hear me out on this. So my dad founded Wade's RV on, on service. He started in a little shop in Sepulpa, Oklahoma, 
servicing RVs. He didn't start out selling RVs. It was always about service. And so you need to make sure the RV dealership that you're partnering up with, that's when you purchase an RV, you're, it's a partnership, that they could service your RV correctly. They, so they're going to take care of it through the life of the RV. A bonus is they have a storage facilities to store it. And so they could take care of it on that aspect as well. But they're going to be the middleman between you and the manufacturer to make sure that everything, if there's manufacturer warranties and things that need to be taken care of, you need to make sure that they're, when they say something, it's going to be heard. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. I don't know if anyone sat on the uh, phone recently <laughs> and tried to get through to customer service, but it's not that easy. No. We're going to take care of that for you. It's yeah. the VIP treatment you're going to find at Wade's RV. And we were talking about the storage Think about this. If you have an RV problem and you store at your house, yeah. what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to hook up your RV or drive your RV down here, get a ride back if it's a motorhome, and then leave it here. It's going to be getting worked on. Here's the benefit of storing with Wade's RV. You get home from your RV camping trip. You have a cracked pipe. Guess what? You call our service department. We'll go grab it out of your storage unit, mm -hmm. fix it, put it back in your storage unit, and then whenever you want to go camping next week, yeah. no problem at all. And it was no hassle. And we have other um, customers that say, hey, you know, we're going to get the motor home out. We're going to go down to Norman. We're going to tailgate, watch the football game. Could you make sure the batteries are charged up and make sure my propane's all filled up for me? And you did not have to step one foot on Wade's RV. We will take care of all of that for you. And so when they show up, their RV is ready to go. Ready to go, taken care of, so you can go out camping. And that's what we preach every day at Wade's is making sure you can actually get to your campsite. If you're not getting that service from um, your sales department to actually get you a good RV, well, you can't go camping. If your RV's broken, you can't go camping. If you're dealing yeah. with warranty, you can't go camping. And it's our job to make sure you can go camping. And that's what we're striving for every single day. Well, what do you want to talk about next, Willie D? I want to talk about my boats. Oh, yeah. I hear you're selling these things for invoice? Yes. I'm on a boat, and I have lost my mind. So um, we <laughs> Sounds are... Sounds like it. Yeah, we are selling boats <laughs> at invoice pricing. So we're an RV dealership. We've established that. During COVID, we were selling some boats here and there. A lot mm -hmm. of people were. But we've decided we really want to focus on the RV sales. So we're getting rid of these boats at invoice cost. So, because we go RV camping. That's what we do. Yeah, I I went on the boat like twice. Yeah. So I'm not a boater. So we're, we're yeah. just going to get rid of them. So if you're interested in a great Tritune boat, mm -hmm. you're not going to find a better deal. These as are 2022s, as? 2023s. You're, don't quote me on this. But okay. it's 39000 Four hundred and eighty-two dollars, okay. I believe, is the lowest one. I know the first. 30, uh, are... So yeah, thirty-nine thousand yeah, dollars. That's it, trailer, motor, and the boat, right? Because yes, I didn't all know this. Brand new. I was unaware that if you look at a price on something like a boat, you have to also ask them, "Hey, is the trailer included?" Not all the time. Oh, is the motor included? <laughs> it like, is today. It's almost like uh, it's not a trick. We don't. Hey, I want to order some, a grilled cheese sandwich. You're like, well, do you want cheese with that? Would you like, like a slice of what? bread? Maybe I ordered two. a grilled. Yeah. Anyways, yes. so if you're looking for a great boat at a great deal, we're yeah. selling them, and I will do whatever I can to make you a deal on them. I will yeah. take it to the lake. We can go drive them around. Whatever we need to do to make this deal happen, yeah. you let me know, and we're going to make it happen. So that's awesome. If we, if they go to Wade. RV.com, they could look up or they could search Tritune or hit the other button and, and then there'll be a right boat. Yep. You'll see the Tritune. So the price that they see there, that it's is the, the price, price that they're, they're going to pay. pay. Mm -hmm. The other thing to expect and to know at Wade's RV, family owned and operated dealership, if you see a price and in in one of our sales associates or product specialists is what we like to call them, if they give you a price, that is going to to be the price. You're not going to get to the finance department and then fee, 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 fee. No, it's what they give you is what you're going to get. No hidden fees. Mm -hmm. No hidden fees, no games. We're campers. This is what we do. This is a business. This isn't monopoly. This yeah. isn't the game of life. We're not here to play games. We're here to run a business and go camping.
period. We don't want to do anything else. We want to work and go camping. That's it. So Mm -hmm. come on out, see us. We're going to make a deal so you can do both of those things. And this is all part of our great spring break sale. So we got lots of good deals on those 2022s because I have semi trucks of RVs coming in every day and I got to make room for them. And with this new facility, we have lots of space. But I don't want to keep, you know, keep those on the lot. We got to make room because before you know it, we're going to have those 24s arriving. So yeah. we got to get these things blown out. So if you want a great deal, you want more for your trade, whether that be a donkey, whether that be a Mustang, whether oh, that be yes. a tractor, bring it up here. I will get you more for your trade and we will get you into an RV for less because that's the name of the game. Selling RVs for less, giving you more for your trade. Yep. So you're going to pay less overall and just have a great time. That's for our spring break sales event going on now at all. And it's company wide. All three locations are participating in the spring break sale and you have until this weekend to take advantage of the deals, save thousands of dollars, pay less for a brand new RV, get more for your trade. Now, before in closing, let's talk about each location real quick. I'm going to just say, we'll start here. Go, uh, Glenpool, Glenpool. What's going on here? We have a brand new facility. We're about to move into it. Um, we just had that new asphalt laid in front of the storage units. New asphalt. We have great. brand new concrete up here. We're trying to update everything to make your shopping experience the absolute best here in Glenpool, located on um, Highway 75. Uh, it's five minutes south of Tulsa Hills. Thank you. Uh, I am like... There's it's, a lot of locations the, and a lot of taglines. All tag the different lines. locations and taglines, and I'm like, I'll like sometimes you just like muscle memory kicks in, and then you say one, then it intertwines with the other one. So let's say that again. That's Highway 75, just five minutes south of Tulsa Hills on 161st Street. Spot on. Spot on. All right. So, Goldsby. Goldsby. A lot we of have... cool stuff's going on out there. So they have they have the brand new, what we call launch pads, mm-hmm. and we'll talk about the launch pads on a different... Uh, segment because that's a long topic. Customer experience, yes. Yes, customer experience. They are adding on to their indoor storage facility over there. So more storage units over there. If you're looking to store your unit and you're in that Norman, Oklahoma City area, you need to give them a call. 405-288-1247. Ask and for ask Vince. For, yes, I was going to give Vince the plug. <laughs> we got to take care of Ask for Vince. Vince. Yes. Yeah, so um, anything else you could add about the Goldsby location? Well, if you haven't been there, they do have some cool toys. Jared's got that Segway he rolls around on and stuff. Yeah. They, those guys are just a lot of fun out there. And my personal favorite, they have the popcorn machine. Yes. So I'm thinking every dealership needs their little, you know, hot button. And Goldsby has that. I'm thinking maybe Glenpool needs a hot dog roller and maybe yeah. Joplin a cotton candy machine. That way yeah. we just have, you know, full full circus there. And we have a, and we have a new um, sales manager. Mm-hmm. Adam Ogden, he's a really great guy. He's been in yeah. the RV industry for a while, so go out there and see him. If you've been a, a, a long-life customer of his, let him take good care of you. Um, Bring him I, a Red Bull. I learned this week he loves oh, Red Bull. Red yes. Bull. That'll be a pro tip. Okay, so Joplin, Missouri, the newest dealership. Oh, yeah. You and I have both spent yeah, countless hours up there cleaning that uh, facility, cutting down trees, putting up a fence, like... We've been down there getting dirty. And I with love Randy that Wayne. dealership. It is so yeah. cool up there. It's uh, just different. You know, we have all the dealerships that are very similar in the layout, yeah. design. This just feels like a camping cabin. You go up there, you got the cedar trees, the pine trees, you have the indoor showroom, which oh, is yes. I mean, oh, it's so cool. I get I, jealous of it. Do you it know all the, the square footage? I did I don't even know. I didn't measure it, didn't look it up, but I know it's huge. They're are uh, there's several units inside and we have class a motorhomes inside you could probably put over 10 class a motorhomes inside I mean, yes it's huge. it's huge now On the lower side the perk of having that indoor showroom people can go inside like today it's raining if you were to come and you know want to shop at a dealership you're gonna have to kind of dodge the rain i mean it is Hopefully what you it is you brought an umbrella it is what it is right Joplin, they have the ability, actually Glimpole does too now, but they have the ability to have their units stored in- inside. And so you could go in there and shop with ease and you don't have to worry about the rain, the wind, or any of that stuff. And more importantly, they're plugged in. So you can oh, see yeah. all the features, use all the awnings and everything of that. So Now you set up the new cubicles, Willie D. You did a very good job. It looks awesome. Very functional. Um and the parts 
store. Yes, we have the new parts store all set up, and it has a little bit of everything. If you're looking for RV toilet paper, we got it. If you're looking for brushes to clean your yes. RV, we got it. And I'm, I'm just trying to think of everything <laughs> random there was in. But, I mean, anything you need for an RV, yeah. we got it there at that store. The cubicles look great. We have a great sales staff up there, and uh, Joe Kellogg is up there doing a great job as yes. well. I'm um, just getting Thank everything set that. up. And uh, it's, I mean, it, I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for that store. We just kind of got it going all, you know, all yeah. firing on all cylinders. So um, the future is, I mean, just as bright as it can be. And I like to say um, meeting Joe Kellogg, he's new to the team. He is our general manager up at Joplin. Really, ga- uh, really great guy. He's been in the industry for a long time. And I think that's it, right? What else you got to say? Well, whenever you go to the dealerships, make sure you tell them one thing. What? Little Wade and Willie D sent you. What? Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. And uh, first segment. That was fun. We worked out the kinks. I got to learn. I got to learn this little keypad over here. Um, but I look forward to many more podcasts with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share it with a friend uh, for some really cool RV tips. RV camping with Wade's RV.